grass rats. We got some new merchandise. Go to our web store and check it out. We got a new hoodie, a new long sleeve t-shirt, and a new coffee mug. Check it out, and there's your dinner. He's coming at me, and I'm like, yeah, bring it on. I'm not scared of you. I'm not scared of nothing. He's like coming up on me. I'm like, all right, this is really going down. I ain't scared. So like, all right, ready. this one's all good. Yeah. All right, Pa. Well, that was the last snowblower. Got anything else for me to do? Otherwise, I'm going to skate out of here. We're pretty caught up. Yeah, Junior. I need you to take some of that stuff and put it up in the attic of the new building. I don't know, Pa. I'm pretty sure I heard something moving around up there the other day. Oh, here we go when everything's haunted. It's a brand new building! Yeah, well, I heard it was built on an ancient burial ground. Oh, relax. They moved the headstones, but they may have left the bodies. <gasps> relax. I'm just messing with you. There's no bodies under there. This was all farmland. But, if that stuff don't get put up in that attic, there could be a couple of bodies buried under here real soon. All right, fine. Slippers, give me a hand. Oh yeah, real funny. Come on, grab that crate, help me out. Oh, great, yeah. Make the old guy do all the physical labor. I see how it is. Ah, kids these days. See, I told you there's something up there. You go first. What? Me? I ain't going first. It's your daddy's building. You're the tough guy. Gonna beat everybody up all the time. Why don't you go up there and kick whatever it is 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 his butt? <laughs> all right, fine. I'm not scared. Give me that flashlight. I'm going in. <laughs> Today's video is going to be on this here Arian's Zero Turn Mower that's got this real poorly designed throttle and choke combination that's just a bad idea. And we're going to change it out. So first, we're going to show you what I'm talking about. So Arian's come up with this throttle and choke combination. Now if you notice it's got a decal here that says to choke pull up. So what you're supposed to do is put it in this like choke position and then when you would pull up on it it would choke it. But as you can see it's it's frozen and it's not working. It's broken. So we've run into this before and people had complained about it and what I would normally do is I would just eliminate that choke mechanism they got and put in my own choke table. And sometimes on different models there wasn't like a lot of room on this dash to do that. So I would put it up here in the front. I would just put a, a universal choke cable up here and then the customer could just reach down here and pull the choke. I would just drill a hole in this panel between the gas tank and the battery. So this customer went to Arians and told them he needed to order this new part. Money calling and it's coming from my pocket because that's where I keep the money. So the customer went to his local Arians dealer where he had bought this from 
and told him that he needed to replace this and they sent him this box. And then when he opened it, he saw that it had this throttle and a choke cable in it. So he thought they had made a mistake because that's as far as he went. Because what he didn't do was look at the instruction sheet where it clearly says on there combo choke slash throttle retrofit cable kit. So they're doing away with that bad design and they've come up with a kit. But of course it's not free. It's not like a recall or a warranty situation. It's just a kit they've come up with. And just like Ikea, it's got a bunch of pictures and procedures on how to replace it. So like most people, when they see something like this, they freak out and they bring it to me. So after I perused the instructions, and if you don't know what peruse means, that means read. After I read it, read through it, it's pretty much the same thing that I've been doing. Eliminating that combo and just adding a choke. But they want us to put it here in the instructions. They want you to measure an inch from here to here and an inch and an eighth from here to here and center punch it and drill a hole and then you're gonna add the choke there and then they give you a new a new throttle to put on there. So first thing they tell you to do is remove this fender they call it for this council area. Now normally there's a piece of trim on here. You have to come over here, Mr. Cameraman. There's like a piece of trim that's on here, but that's missing. It must have fallen off. So you pop that off. It has three little plastic rivets on it. So you pry that off so you can get to this part where the bolt holds up. So they've got this chute strapped up. So we'll take that down. So you need a half inch socket. And you can take these two nuts off of here. And you can remove this fender. Now there's another bolt under here right here and there's a space around it there's another nut down there and they tell you let me where is this lower the deck here and you can pull this whole fender off and then they tell you to be aware of this little spacer you don't want to lose that. So I'm just going to stick the nut back on there, a couple of treads, so I don't lose it. And then here's that throttle mechanism. Now, if you look, you can see the customer had shoved some kind of screw in there and some kind of zip tie. So now we need a 5 16 I'm going to take that off and I'm going to need a pair of cotters. Now in the instructions they show some kind of cable clip like this similar to this but this one doesn't have it or it may have had it back here and it might have got replaced with a zip tie so we're going to cut that.
And I'm going to get a 5 16 So we could take this off, take these screws out. We don't want to lose any of this stuff. So I'm just going to go ahead and throw it in the cover here. And they also want you to to remove the key switch and the PTO, but I don't know if we need to do that. If anything, I might just have to unplug the plug from the ignition switch. Just to give us some room so we can get to this throttle control. Now let me see, you might have to pull this off. Pull off that plastic thing. Throw that in there. Let's see if that gives us enough room to get this out now. All right, so you can see this thing is all packed up full of leaves and grass. Well, let me get that out of there so I can kind of see where these cables are going. All right, they're going, they're going through here and then they're going up under and through this hole. All right, so now I need a Torx T25 and I'll come back here Mr. Cameraman to where these cables mount. Now this choke cable had already been disconnected so the customer must have been manually choking it because it went in here went in this hole down here so they already disconnected it. So the T25 is so we can take this cable clamp off. See it's double cable clamp for the throttle and the choke. And then if you notice, the throttle is in that center hole. So we're gonna take that out of there. All right, there we go. So now those cables are disconnected. All right, now let's see if we can get that monstrosity out of here. Now this is, again, a little bit different model. This ignition plug was between the two cables here. So I'm going to get that out of there. And I'm going to pull on these cables. Get them out. Have to take them out one at a time. There's the one. There's the other one. Alright. Let's see if I can get this. Here we go. All right, so I got it out. So this is what this thing looked like. And again, it had broken, so the customer was just trying to rig it up, probably just so he could use the machine. So it looks like something had broken. Looks like this piece had broken off of here. Yeah, this piece looks like it had gone there like that. And it had broke off. And then he zip tied it. Oh, he was trying to hold it in place. Yeah, see the whole plastic thing here? That holds this cable. So it must have worked for a while and it just got to be a hindrance. I'm sure it probably took two people to start it because somebody probably had to stand back here and choke it and while the other one was sitting in the seat. Plus it's stiff. 
doesn't want to move very good. And then somehow when you would pull on this, yeah, see it's all packed up full of grass. So you would pull on this and it would somehow choke it. Looks like there was another screw on this side and that whole mechanism being made out of plastic, it just, it just broke. So what I was doing was I was just taking that cable off and just running a separate one because the throttle was still working. But now that I know they got a kit, we could just do that. All right, so we got that off. So we're not gonna have to do all them steps that's in there. Like I said, they want you to take this out they want you to take this out. I don't understand why. They want you to measure an inch and an eighth from here to there and an inch in from the side. I think if I just measure in an inch and get kind of close to the center here and center punch it, that'll be close enough to put that choke in there. So let's see. There's an inch, it's about right here. Right by the P on pull. And an inch and an eighth they wanted me to go from the end of here. I don't know, I think I would just go another inch. That would be like centered right there. Plus they got this decal on here that we're not going to need anymore that says pull up the choke. So we'll take that off so we don't confuse anybody. So we need to lead drill it. They said to use a 1 8 drill. I just got a drill. I don't know what size it is, but it's bigger than 1 8. And they tell you to, to disconnect the battery and all this stuff. I don't, we don't need to do that. With the safety. Too much with the safety. Now the next drill they want to use, 13 30 seconds. All right. Now... I have to clean off some of that burr on the bottom. I'll just take a file, file that off a little bit. There's just a couple of little burrs under there. Nothing too bad. And then we'll start uh, putting the new cables in. Here's the choke. Unscrew the nut from here. Take that nut and washer off. and the nut on there. You have to run it on there. All right, now come over here, Mr. Cameraman. So you see how low this is going. So we're gonna wanna run those cables up underneath this arm here. So we're going under here. And then over here is that hole where the cables came through. So 
So we got that one routed. Now here's a throttle. So we'll just go ahead and just run that right alongside that choke one. Same way, come up through that hole again. Now we gotta put those screws in there. The ones I took out, those 516. So they must, because they didn't give us new screws with it, so they must thread right in there. Oh yeah, they make their own thread. Loosen that one up a little so I can get the other hole lined up. All right. So there's that. Now they did give me a new little rubber piece to go on there. Oh, there it is. Shove that on there. There we go. So now we'll pull our cables back to here. And let's see. And they're way too short. Look at that. They don't even make it. Okay, so let's pull them back through here. And let's see if we can route them differently because they're not going to make it to the back. So since that fender just mounts up against here, let me see something. Can I route them through this way? Show. So that'll make it. And we'll see about the trial. So again, he got the kit, not me. So I don't know if they looked up the wrong kit because there's so many different models. But they'll make it now. The thing is, I just don't like the way I got them routed like this. This is too much of a bend here to go through here. And I don't like how this choke cable is rubbing on this parking brake. So not only was their idea a bad idea, but the instructions they supplied were horrible instructions. See, because it's already starting to bend this up already. I think they'll be fine if I just run them like this. The thing is, we just don't want we just don't want a lot of bends in it. And then there are a couple of holes here that I can put zip ties in to kind of hold it. All right, so I need to get a wrench and tighten up this choke this nut for this choke here. I'll get a croissant. Let me get a croissant. French was made in France. 
why it's called a croissant. It might be might be too big to get in there. I'm getting it. Now that I can figure out what size it is. So I'll hold it up here and I'll hold it up there. The croissant is too big. All right. I think that's going to work out better. So let me pull these cables over here like this. Just for a second. And let me get this cover. Let me take that nut back off down here. Let me make sure this is going to go on. Without any interference, which I don't think it will, but let me just double check. Alright, so that'll work. So we we'll bring the cables through here then. Instead of through here and through this hole like they came out originally, and again, I can put a zip tie here and a zip tie here. I don't know if I can put one there. Yeah, I might be able to. Yeah, I can put a zip tie here. And I can put another zip tie over here if I have to. This one might be good enough right here, just one. Okay. Let me hook this ignition switch back up. Wire. This plug. It's like one of the terminals. Move. Yeah, one of them got bent. I gotta bend it back. Probably when I was routing those wires in there. There we go. Now we're going. All right. Okay. Now we got to come to the back. So here's our choke. Pull on the knob. So we know this is the choke. This is the throttle. So the throttle went in this middle hole. Like that. We'll put that one in first. And then the choke goes in this one there. And then we'll take our clamp. Because there's a little divot on the bottom. A little nub and that nub let's kind of clean this thing up a little bit too Got a bunch of crap in there a bunch of grass all right that little nub is going to go in that hole so make sure you know you're aware of that that's what keeps it from turning on you. Otherwise, if you've got it flipped 180 degrees, the nub's going to be at the top. And when you go to screw this down and tighten it, you're probably going to break that little nub. Okay, so now we got to set everything. So the choke is the bottom, and the knob's all the way in. And this is all the way back. So we know that's where we want that cable. We put the cable all the way to fast. And this is slow. So that's fast all the way forward. So that would be slow. So we got it all the way fast, so we're gonna pull it back. 
And if you notice, it's, it's going to stop on that screw. So now we'll just tighten it down. And now we'll check it. So now I got the, le the lever up here, throttle levers all the way forward on the rabbit. Now come down here and look. So now when I pull it back towards the turtle, see it goes back to idle. That's where our idle is. And all the way to fast. Now I'll, our choke, I'll pull on the knob. And if you notice, it's kind of bent right here. And it's hitting on that. So let me see if I can bend this out a little bit. See, it won't give it full choke because this is hitting on there. So I may have to take this cable out. Let me try sticking it in that hole. Let me look at them instructions. I'm pretty sure them instructions show it in there. Okay, according to their destructions, I was wrong. They got the choke control in there, and they got it in the top, and they got the throttle in the bottom. So I was wrong. But you know what? I would have figured it out. All right, so let's change it the way they got it. Let me take this off. Take this out of there, stick it in there, and we'll put the cable on the top and on the bottom. See, that to me, that just doesn't look right to have them overlapping like that. I would much rather have them like this, side by side, but it, it may not give it full chokage. You know what? I'm going to try it anyway. Because I don't, I don't like their way they're doing it by overlapping them like that. All right, I got it all the way in fast. So let me pull that back, and I got the choke knob pushed all the way down. Tighten it. Is it getting full choke? Oh yeah, it's getting full choke. One thing I do notice though, is this is kind of tweaked in a little bit. I'd rather have that bent out. Looks like it got smashed. Let me tweak that out a little bit. Getting full choke now. Yeah, so I don't like that. I don't like how they got that crisscross like that. And I don't mean the, the band crisscross. I mean the cables. So I eliminated a bunch of procedures out of here that they show you. See, they're telling you to take that out and take the PT. And if you notice this panel, this picture of this panel, is different than the one we got because look at which way the throttle's going and look where the PTO switch is it's over here and the key switch is over there this looks nothing like our panel like I said I've worked on some of these before where I eliminated that all-in-one choke thing they got I don't know why they don't just go with the standard choke one where you just push it all the way forward but probably because this uh, engine's got the separate choke and the separate throttle. They probably didn't want to have to put another cable on it. I don't know why. I don't know why, what they're thinking. But look at this picture. Look at that panel. See where the PTO switch is? See where the kill switch? See where the... You can get a better shot here. See where it all is? That looks nothing like ours. 
Here's ours. That looks nothing like it. But then when they show you drilling, they show the guy drilling a hole in it, the panel is different than this one. Now the slot's over here. Here's the PTO switch. Here's the key switch. This is our panel. Goofballs over there. See, here's our panel with the throttle going this way. So I could see how somebody would get confused. And then somewhere I thought I read in here where it said, you know, route the cables back the way you took them out. Yeah, well, guess what? When we routed them the way we took them out, they ended up being short. So let me go get a couple of twist ties now. Or twist ties, zip ties. All right, so I'm going to put a zip tie through here since we don't have these kind of retainers. They probably broke. Put a zip tie here to hold that there. And then, let me see about putting another one over here. Like this. Cut them off. And we flip this up and take a look under here now. Because we don't, we kind of want to keep these out of the way. But yet we don't want them near the muffkin. And we don't want them to be hanging out to where like branches and stuff. So let's see what we put this on. That's gonna help with that, no. And then this cover comes down. See, I don't like how that's hanging out. So. I think I'm gonna drill a hole in here. There's room under here. I'll drill a hole and I'll put another zip tie just to kind of hold this over here out of the way because otherwise it's hanging out like that. I don't like that. All right, I'm going to drill a hole right about here. But this is what you got to do. Again, a lot of shops I know, they're not going to do what I do. But a lot of it's just common sense. You know, you just don't, just don't follow everything that they tell you to do. Don't just enter into everything blindly. Do what you think is right, or how you want it to look. Because I know what I'm gonna do with these instructions. Because we're low on toilet paper right now. Well, I'll be wiping my butt with these. Oh, I mean, why am I throwing the toilet paper away? <laughs> I haven't used it yet. I'm gonna hold on. All right, so there it is. Just gotta put this cover back on. At least the cover came off pretty easy. Half inch socket roll the way over here. Now a little trim piece is missing, which is no big deal. And then we got this other one down here. Put their little, I don't know how they had this thing rigged up. 
Now, I don't know if this thing will start because that was another complaint when it came in. It was hard to start. Oh, I got their little key fob stuck under there. Their little Jägermeister. Shoots all busted up. Then them nuts come flying off, and I just lost them because their key fob got stuck in there. All right now I gotta find them nuts. So I pulled the air cleaner off, so you can verify that it's getting full choke. Now. I would start this thing up for you and show you that everything works, but it needs a starter. So I don't know if you've seen our other video on these starters, what junk they are on these crawler engines are garbage. So this needs a starter. The Bendix is stuck in the up position and the rubber around there is all dry rotted and deteriorating and the bearing, the upper bearing is shot. So this starter shot and I don't have any in stock. Because it needs a new starter. It cranks over but it won't spin it fast enough to start the engine because the starter's bad. So that's another troubleshooting tip for you. If you got an engine that won't start, a lot of times it's because it won't spin it fast enough. Could be your starter. So there you have it. That's what it takes to replace that bad idea on that throttle control. This stupid choking throttle all together with two cables on it from Aaron's company. So if you already haven't subscribed to this channel, subscribe, follow me with your junk lawnmowers on Facebook and Instagram. Go to our web store, like I said at the beginning of the video. We got new items, like this beautiful Nope Knuckleheads Operating Power Equipment hoodie. I'm toasty warm right now in this thing. And we got all kinds of other stuff. We got a long sleeve t-shirt with the wheelie horse on it, like the rat fink with me doing a wheelie on the wheelie horse. And we got a new coffee mug. It ain't the, uh, it's, it's not the space shuttle, it's the lawnmower coffee mug. So check that out. And as always, there's your dinner. Woo! Change out their crappy throttle control. Rerouted the cables and gonna use their instructions as toilet paper.
What you see, Pa? Anything? You guys, there ain't nothing up here. Ah! Pa! What's that? What? What? Jerry, what is it? You got a piece of insulation stuck in your hair. Might want to get that out of there. Where's it at? Uh, over a little behind you. Here? No, it's in the back more. Over here? Oh, there it goes. It fell out. Oh. It's got the crap out of me. Don't do that. Ah! What was that? I don't know, Junior, but I'm about to find out. Hey, man. Be careful. If I'm not back in five minutes, come in after me. If you're not back in five minutes, I'm calling the lawnmower detectives. Hey, Terrell! Get him for me, man. Get him for me. Did you say something, Junior? Nah, nah, I didn't say nothing. It wasn't important. Go get him, Pa. That tree going dead on this thing? Oh, crap. Come on. Oh. that blanket. There's something moving under there. Hey, Daryl. Ronnie, what are you doing up here? Oh, I've been living up here for a while now. Sure beats living out there in that shed. That's for sure. Everything all right up here, Pa? It's been five minutes. Do I need to call the lawnmower detectives? Yeah, Junior. Call them up. We have us a trespasser. Oh, come on, Terrell. Don't send me back to jail. I, I don't want to go back to that shed. I like it up here. Did we get him, Junior? We got him, buddy. We got him.